Hello, UGCS pilots, and welcome to UGCS webinar of Photogrammetry Tool. My name is Dimitri, and I'm UGCS support engineer. Photogrammetry is used for surveying and mapping in geophysics, engineering, construction, and agriculture areas. Today, we'll go over photogrammetry tools and the settings. So let's begin. First of all, I create new road by clicking Add New Road button at the upper left corner. Create from scratch. Give a road a friendly name. Select our drone. Today I'm going to be using DGA Navic 2 Zoom. Oh, by the way, and the recent drones you've used are on the top list. So, click Next. Let's assume I'm going to launch my drone from a flat ground. Not from the hill or a car, not from a lowland, so I'll just leave this intact. Maximum altitude above ground. Mm, 1,200 should be more than enough. Return home altitude above takeoff point. Well, if something goes wrong, the drone will gain altitude of 50 meters above the ground, and then will return to the uh, home point. Zones taking into account, aerodrome zones and custom zones. I leave them intact so I can see where my drone can't go. Tra trajectory type, I'll choose safe. So I'll gain altitude and go to the first location. Action and loss of RC. If I lose control, drone will just fly home. Clicking next. First of all, I choose a single waypoint and place it somewhere near the location I'm going to survey. First point, field coverage, there we go. The reason for the first waypoint is that I might, it might change where I'll stop, like here or here, doesn't really matter. Anyways, the road's calculating. Yep, calculated. Let's overview our settings. Flight speed. I'll leave it to five meters as default. It's five meters per second. Turn type, stop and turn. DJI vehicles has the restrictions that an adaptive bank turn, camera won't take pictures in auto mode. Because an adaptive bank turn, the drone is very close to waypoint, but not close enough for the action to, to take place. So turn type should be stop and turn, not adaptive. Camera, I'll use DJI default Mavic, uh, DJI Mavic 2 default camera, but you can use your own. Ground resolution, or GSD. It's an approximate ground resolution for resulting images in centimeters per pixel. The less the number here, the lower the drone will have to fly, resulting in a larger resolution. This parameter must be set according to the final order photo resolution requirements. Forward and side overlap. Parameters are the radio of the overlap of neighboring frames. We recommend to check these parameters with the requirements of the software you're going to use for order photo compilation. Next, camera top facing forward. Concerns the camera orientation to the motion vector, portrait or landscape. It's landscape in my case. Uh, direction angle. Used to change the direction angle of the main scanning progress, which would, uh, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. Direction angle. In order to optimize the search creep or search pattern, you'll need to turn the direction angle by the, long, by the longest edge of your map, of your survey map. Here we go. You see this blue little arrow? 
you drag it and point it to the largest part of our road. Here we go. It will decrease the time and the battery consumption of, the, of, the, of our flight. Avoid obstacles. This parameter allows to calculate uh, the route in accordance to the objects that we imported as 3D models into UGCS. Action execution. This parameter defines how and where camera action specified for photogrammetry to will, be, will be executed. In my case, I select forward passes so I didn't get additional photos between the passes. Forward passes, check. Additional waypoints. If the flag cleared, the algorithm generates only turning points. If the flag is set, additional waypoints for camera shooting will be generated depending on overlap and camera settings. This parameter is used in an environment with the lack of sunlight. The drone will stop, take the photo, and fly on. Make note that it's more time and battery consuming. Let me, let me show you how it works. See, the road's being recalculated. And these are the po points where the drone will stop. Overshoot in meters adds extra segment to both ends of each server line to enable extra space for turns. This is pretty much for fixed wing drones, not required in my case. Overshoot speed, meters per second. Option to decrease or increase vehicle speed for overshoot segment while passing the turns. As I said, not required in my case. Altitude type. Altitude boat, sorry. ASML which means above sea level. The drone will maintain the same altitude over the whole mission. Select SML altitude if the elevation map is required. AGL mode, above ground level. The drone will follow terrain relief. Select AGL mode if you need the same resolution over the entire area. Allow partial calculation. Option to allow road calculation in these cases. The part of road exceeds maximum SMSL of the road. Relief height is unavailable at some points of the road. The part of road exceeds the maximum fence radius. The part of road is a no-fly zone. AGL tolerance. On the smaller AGL tolerance value, the more precise drone will follow the terrain relief. If AGL tolerance is set to zero, UAV's altitude will be constant throughout the road but many additional points will be added. No actions at last point, removes act actions for the last waypoint. Double greed. If enabled, adds a second greed to the survey and a 90 degree angle according to first greed. Let me show you. Here we go. We'll need that as well. Before the actual flight, it's always the best idea to check the camera shutter speed. Select the camera trigger by time. That's auto mode. So as you can see, 81 shots will be taken every 11 seconds, which is pretty much okay for me. Uh, consider the camera user's manual. How, how fast it can shutter. Uh, please also note that if you're taking the raw pictures, the shutter time will double. So at the bottom of the screen, we see a potential problems notification. Oh, uh, uh, camera by time is not as precise as camera by distance. So let's delete it and set camera by distance in auto mode. As you can see, we have a potential problem here. Camera is not facing down. Select camera attitude and select tilt to 90 degrees. Hit enter. So the actions should be done in the different way. 
see camera attitude and set camera by distance. First, the drone have to set the camera. So I will move it in the first place. First action, set camera attitude. Second, set camera by distance. Problems are gone. We can now upload, start the road from the beginning. My simulator says it has too few GPS satellite. That's not a problem. Let's upload it again. Upload it. Switch it to auto mode. Okay, as we see altitude is too high. We gotta change GSD to about like say, let's say three. Here we go. Let's try to upload again. Switching to auto mode. Here we go. The drone is airborne. Let me see if you have any questions about it. And I can pass the word to my colleagues. Yanis, would you like to answer some questions uh, or add anything? Yes, uh, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, I was uh, uh, typing some answers in Q&A uh, straight away. Um, so I stopped the question, uh, why uh, ground resolution uh, doesn't change if, I change if you change uh, altitude. For photogrammetry tool, you cannot change uh, the altitude. Uh, altitude is calculated automatically and based on uh, specified ground resolution and uh, uh, necessary um, overlap. Double grid uh, would uh, provide uh, over uh, the same overlaps for uh, both directions. So uh, there's a question, uh, can you explain better the reason for the choice of forward passes in action execution? <clears throat> Uh, it is necessary so the actions uh, would be executed uh, during uh, all the flight. If we uh, choose only at uh, the waypoint, then uh, uh, actions will be executed uh, only at, in this case, only uh, in the start uh, of the lines uh, at the corners. Uh, so there is a question for, uh, for cameras that do not have uh, profiles, but also no sensor size information. Can I use a pixel with multiplied with the resolution to get the sensor size? Mm, it would uh, not be uh, very re reliable. Uh, you can uh, you can test and uh, see what uh, results you get uh, uh, when you capture some smaller uh, area. Uh, but uh, like uh, just just uh, using these numbers and uh, performing full flight, uh, there's a risk that you will not uh, get necessary data. So the next question uh, with the photogrammetry, we often use a tripod to avoid motion blur. Is it possible to stop the drone before every photo during a mission? Uh, there is this. Uh, Option to meet here already showed uh, additional uh, waypoints. Uh, so uh, if you uh, set additional waypoints, then a waypoint will be created uh, at each location uh, where a drone is supposed to uh, capture the image. And uh, 
using stop and turn, drawn, uh, will stop at these waypoints and uh, perform the image capture. So, um, question uh, regarding this uh, GSD and altitude. Uh, no, you can uh, adapt the altitude all only uh, changing uh, ground resolution. Uh, it's possible to view uh, altitude uh, choosing a window uh, show elevation. And Dimitri, uh, I'd like to share my screen. Can you please? Sure, I'm really seeing. So uh, I'll quickly show how to adjust uh, the altitude. So here I have a uh, very high ground resolution and the elevation, approximate elevation would be uh, 20 meters above the ground. So if I increase ground resolution, also the altitude is uh, increased. This is actually the uh, only way in a photogrammetry tool how you can change the altitude. Because uh, all changes of uh, altitude uh, requires the roads to be calculated. And the parallel lines, as you can see, uh, the lower is altitude, uh, so the lines are with a uh, big, bigger distance between them. <clears throat> so there's a question uh, regarding uh, digital elevation data in uh, using a different coordinate system. Um, in such case, if you, if you uh, have the elevation data in different coordinate system, uh, it may appear uh, in UGCS on a different altitude. Uh, if it appears on, so on, on the same altitude visually, uh, when you plan the mission, uh, still uh, the drone will receive uh, the road uh, calculated uh, based on uh, the takeoff uh, point on altitude. So uh, the road will be uh, with the coordinates above the uh, takeoff uh, point. Uh, ground altitude and the uh, drone doesn't have the MSL altitude. In, in most cases uh, it should uh, it should fly correctly above the ground but uh, it's better to ensure uh, to get uh, the correct uh, coordinate system the elevation data. So the question, are we able to tell the drone to send a still shot at a request to check the resolution? Uh, no, it, it's not possible. Images from, images are stored on the memory card and uh, it's not uh, accessible remotely. You just says there is an option uh, to create a capture from the mobile device and uh, uh, send it to the geo server and uh, you can uh, view it. But uh, uh, it will not be the resolution of uh, actual image. So the question, does the zoom, zoom setting on camera setup correctly change the altitude from uh, for GSD? Um, no. For uh, for ground resolution, we uh, are used the uh, default settings. So uh, the truth uh, focal lens. So if uh, you are using zoom, then you will need to specify uh, the zoom, zoom value uh, here in the camera profile. Here is already the second question. Uh, it's like question but suggestion that we should set uh, give option to set the uh, altitude directly. Uh, 
if you could explain this use case and send it to support at ugcs.com, we will evaluate it. And uh, uh, if we find it uh, really usable, we can implement this feature. And question from Michael, uh, is this the same software that we use for GPS surveys? Uh, yes, the software is the same, but for GPS surveys, uh, we are using area scan uh, road. Uh, it's a bit uh, different. Um, maybe I'll quickly create the area scan road. So uh, for the area scan road, uh, you select the area where you uh, want to perform the flight. And uh, here you can specify the flight altitude. And the side distance between the lines. Maybe this also answers uh, the question if you want to specify the um, altitude manually and you have the data what uh, distance between lines you need uh, for uh, the photogrammetry, maybe you can use the area scan, but uh, area scan is not calculating the uh, overlaps. Uh, DJ, uh, question regarding DJ7 camera, yes, it will be added in the payload in the next version of UGCS, but there will be only uh, one profile uh, with one lens as uh, X7 camera. If I'm not wrong, it comes with five lenses. Uh, there is a different sensor resolution for video, and for, uh, for images, uh, we can't add for any combination. So uh, there will be one profile default uh, for 24 millimeters lens, and uh, you can adjust it uh, according to your setup. For the matrix uh, 210 uh, V2, uh, if it's possible to define more cameras. Uh, for photogrammetry road, uh, photogrammetry road is uh, calculated based on one camera. It is possible to add uh, several uh, cameras as a payload for on drone profiles. So, the so main, main menu profiles, uh, your drone profile, uh, edit, and you can choose uh, several cameras to add. And now, if I choose here. So here are uh, two cameras for the drone, but uh, only uh, one can be used for the work calculation. Oh, there's a question regarding uh, vertical facades. Can uh, that I will uh, be showing it next week in the webinar uh, at the same time. There will be a webinar regarding vertical facade scans. So uh, the zoom uh, settings in uh, camera uh, altitude profile, uh, attitude profile, uh, it is, uh, this is uh, def default action for uh, all types of roads. So we are not uh, changing the camera actions uh, specifically for this uh, road. So they are uh, the same for all the roads. So you can uh, specify the zoom level. So uh, uh, if you set the zoom uh, parameters in uh, the payload profile, it will not change the actual zoom. So the camera action here for the zoom is necessary to actually change the zoom. So for example, uh, Mavic Zoom has uh, a zoom from 24, uh, millimeters to 48. Uh, the value in uh, UGCS must be set the millimeters of uh, 
uh, zoom you want to get. So the actual values will be from 24 to 48. So for the maximum zoom for uh, our zoom, uh, we have to specify zoom level 48. Uh, the question if the area scan model can uh, or collect images the same at the same time. Yes, uh, uh, using uh, area scan route, you also can uh, add uh, all the camera actions and collect the images. Uh, so there's a question is it possible to create corridor mission in UGCS by uploading a line string and setting up? Uh, the weight of the corridor to be flown above. Uh, currently, there is no such functionality, uh, but uh, we are already uh, analyzing uh, the options for KML uh, import, and it will be added in uh, one of the next releases. The question. Is it possible to plan a mission without internet connection? Uh, yes, it is possible uh, to create mission without uh, internet connection. It is necessary to uh, store uh, map data. Uh, it is possible to do it uh, by selecting the area and uh, clicking this uh, button offline map. So you click uh, the mouse right button on, on the center of area which you would like to store and uh, click offline map. So it will store an uh, area of uh, one kilometer, uh, yeah, one kilometer radius. Uh, the process uh, might take, depending on, on, on the internet speed, about 10 minutes to store uh, the, the area. It uh, depends on the details of the area, also, of course, uh, because it is storing uh, uh, several uh, layers of image, so uh, you can use it offline if you like in online mode. Uh, question from Alex: Is the DJI system-specific uh, Phantom 4 how much control over the camera settings? Take both which back on the raw files. Uh, do you have? Um, I'm not certain regarding. Quantum chip four, uh, but I have just recently tested with a Mavic. Uh, it's possible to choose uh, type uh, of the image how it's stored. Uh, there are three options: uh, JPEG, uh, and uh, RAW, and uh, only RAW. So it's possible to choose it on the mobile application. Just it, uh, it is possible to increase the diameter of the stored map. Uh, but uh, I guess it can be found in uh, wiki.ugcs.com how to do that, or uh, uh, if you can't find it there, uh, you can uh, send records to support at ugcs.com, we'll send you instructions how to do that. Mm, the map for uh, the question is uh, every time you have to download the map of the new location or it is already integrated. Uh, in UGCS, uh, there are no map data integrated uh, in the software. So uh, if you download and install a UGCS, it do not contain any data. Uh, all the data is uh, downloaded uh, from the internet. Uh, when you are, are viewing a particular uh, area. So, uh, there's a map uh, options, uh, map layers. It's uh, possible to use uh, several uh, built-in uh, map sources. Uh, it's also possible to add external VMS sources. Uh, also, you can uh, download uh, and store locally uh, map data from uh, geotips, but uh, that will limit the area. Questions are you planning to implement geofence option for the safety? Uh, 
that's uh, it's not uh, really related actually to our software. The geofence uh, is defined uh, on the autopilot level. So for now, I, I can't uh, answer this. <laughs>